you know that the people of the Grenadines have had a problem with sea transport. It's expensive, eh? And also, the fast ferry coming from the Southern Grenadines is very important for the people from the Southern Grenadines coming up, and also for tourists from here and from Bekwe and people returning nationals. It takes two hours from Union to St. Vincent with the fast ferry in air conditioned comfort. It takes six hours on my friend Jeffrey King's boat, which is a very good boat. Of course, Jeffrey also takes cargo. As you know, the fast ferry was down. They ran into problems. They were losing money, and they were they had to buy a new engine because one of the two engines was down. They didn't come to me, you know. I called them. I said, come and talk to me. I sent a message. They came. Elvis Goodin, who is a good man, came with his wife, who is a good businesswoman. And with their accountant, I said, you have to give me a proposal. Tell me how you want me to help. They had to discuss it. I said, all what you discuss with me, put it down in black and white. I read it. I circulated it to relevant ministers in cabinet and to Mr. Edwards. So that when I came back from England, from the Pope, and then for the time in England, I'll deal with it. But unfortunately, I delayed a couple of weeks with it because the storm came. And those first two, three weeks, I was every waking hour. Was, it, took up, it took up my time, as you would appreciate, and having to put things in place. Anyway, then I said I went about it. And I got the cabinet to agree to the following things. Not just now, this is not only for the fast ferry, but the fast ferry is an important service. And the fast ferry is very expensive to run. The figures indicate that a wrong trip is $6,000 worth of fuel they burn on a wrong trip, $6,000. So the first and obvious concession I had to give is, I got the cabinet to agree to it, is to give all the ferries that have passengers, that carry passengers, duty-free concession on the fuel. Of course, the fuel has to be bought through the bonded warehouse system so that you have a, a reputable dealer you're dealing with. That would save the fast ferry just over $1,000 a day. So if you travel 350 days in the year, that's $350,000. But it's not only for them. It's also for Jeffrey King, Barracuda, and those which come out of Beckway too. And I spoke to Jeffrey King about this. Then... The they need a certain amount of patronage from the government. And I agree to buy annually the equivalent of one thousand dollars in tickets a day for up to three hundred days as three hundred thousand dollars. No. 
don't have to you don't have to use the tickets every day. You could bunch them, like for instance, you know, every year when we are supposed to get students from Union Island to come up for the for the games, people scrunting for money for the transportation. You have to bring 20, 30 students. No, you can't bring 20, 30. You can only bring 12. No, we must give everybody the exposure who want to come. So we can bunch them and bring them. People from Canawan, children. And of course, government officials move up and down. So that's $300,000. What about the engine? They couldn't, the ferry was losing money and therefore puts them in a difficult position for them to go to their bankers. They had to pay 10, 12, maybe more percent interest per year. So we are lending them 100,000 US dollars for the engine at 4%. Using Petrocary monies, 4%. Over 10 years with two years grace. I told, I told Jeffrey, I knew that one of Jeffrey's engines will, was done. Well, Jeffrey bought a new engine for Barracuda and he bought two gearboxes. He put in one. So I say, if you want another engine, you know, I, I will provide you with the loan, which would be around the same 100,000, 120,000 US. But I think he's waiting. But if he wants it next week, if he wants to go and buy it, I'll, I'll facilitate him. And because the first two years, they would only pay the interest, they wouldn't pay any principal. By the way, the money for the farmers, the money for the set program, the money for the ferry engine, Petrocarib money. I just want to make make that point for those who say I must unsign it. I just want to make that point. Um, I believe that this, you know, we have done a lot of work in the Grenadines. Northern Grenadines, Southern Grenadines, Union, Myro, Canawan. Bequay, Northern Grenadines, and we, we have pushed for things in Mustique. But when you see a government goes out of its way like this and acts in this manner concerning the issue of transportation, sea transportation, you know that this is a government which wants to see our multi island state be one, always. And the links must be solid. Now, hopefully, we will not see the increase in fares, the rapid increase in fares that we have been seeing in some of the, 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 the ferry services. And I don't think anybody can complain about this reasonably. I think it's a good use of government resources to help with something which is of vital importance to us. In the same way that we use resources to help St. Vincent link with the rest of the Caribbean through LIAT, is the same principle. Different context, but same principle. <laughs>